My name is Amit Agarwal. I'm a Google Developer Expert for G Suite and Google Apps Script. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can send pre-filled Google Forms using information from a Google Sheet. So here I have a simple Google Form where employees can fill in their name, their birth date, location and other details. Now the thing is that I already have some of this data in my Google Sheet. For instance, I have the name and location of Angus, but we don't know their birth date. And for Kiran, we don't know their birth date or their location. Now I can send an email with a link to this Google form to everyone in this Google Sheet and they can fill in the information I require. But wouldn't it be nice if we could optimize this form so that it reduces the number of fields that a user has to fill in. So for instance, if I were to send a form link to Angus, their name and their location is already known and ideally they should only fill in the fields that are blank. So that's where we can use pre-filled links in Google Forms and in this tutorial I'll show you exactly how you can use them with Mail Merge for Gmail. To get started, open your Google Form and switch to the editor mode. Now here click the three dot menu in the top left and click the get prefill link option. Now fill in this form with some dummy data. I'll put in a random employee ID, a random name, some random date. And maybe uh, I'll choose female as the gender and uh, Hyderabad for the location. Next I'll click the get link button to generate the prefilled link. Now for some reason Google Forms doesn't display this prefilled link so I have to click this copy button to copy it to the clipboard directly. So the prefilled link to the Google Form is in my clipboard. I'll fire up my text editor and paste it here. Now this may look like a very complicated and messy URL but it's actually not if you observe it closely. It is just a collection of name and value pairs. So if you try to map the form fields with this URL, you'll find that there's a one-to-one -one mapping. So for instance, uh, the employee ID field, this has been mapped to entry dot and some random number. Same goes for employee name, the birth date and all the other fields. So what we need to do now is create a pre-filled URL for all the rows in our Google Sheet and we'll use the magic of sheet formulas to accomplish this. I'll switch to my Google spreadsheet and here I'll create a new sheet. Then I'll paste the URL of the form in the first cell of this sheet. You'll soon understand why I'm doing this. Next I'll switch to the main sheet that has the mail merge data and I'll create a new column. Let's call it a Google form link. Now what we want to do is we want to paste the customized pre-filled form URLs in each of these rows. So how do we do that? Since the base formula would be same for all the cells, we'll bring that formula into our mail merge sheet using the A1 notation. Now I can simply drag this cell and the formula would be automatically copied in the other cells. You may have however noticed that the Google Forms link is not appearing in all the other rows. And that's because we are using relative references here. So we need to convert this into an absolute reference so that our formulas do not change even if we move to a different cell. This looks good now. Now if you notice in this sheet, the employee IDs are contained in column A. So we need to replace the word employee ID in our Google Form pre-filled link with the actual values that are appearing in column A. So how do we do that? So we'll use the Google Sheets uh, substitute formula for that. So here you specify the base URL of your formula. Then you specify the employee ID that we want to replace. And this should be replaced with the value that's in the column A. Looks good so far. So let's open this in a new browser tab. 
and there you can see that the dummy employee id has been replaced with the actual value from the employee id column in this google sheet okay let's now try this for all the other uh, fields in the google sheet now this time we'll replace the employee name with the values that are in column b So this is working as well. The next thing we need to replace is the date and you need to apply some special care while working with dates in Google Forms. So if you look at the pre-fill date in the Google Form link, you will notice that they have a special format. You have the year, then you have a dash, then you have the month and then you have the date. So if you have to pre-fill dates, you have to ensure that the dates in your Google Sheet are formatted in the same format. Now the dates in my Google Sheet are using a different format. So converting them into a format that Google Forms can understand is really easy. I can just select the column and then go to the format menu and then specify the correct date format. And this is the one that we are looking for. So you have the year, the month and the date. So I'll use another substitute formula to substitute the date with the values in the column E. So we are almost there. I have to use a couple of more substitute formulas to replace the gender and the location in my Google prefill link. So instead of typing the whole formula, you can just type the first three characters like SUB and press the tab key and it will auto complete the formula name. Now you may notice that some fields may contain spaces. So for instance, the name field Angus McDonald, it has a space. Now URLs cannot have spaces. So what we need to do is we need to apply one more substitute formula to our original formula so that all the spaces are replaced with the plus symbol. Now I know this uh, formula is looking very messy, very complex. So what I can do is I can expand the formula bar and quickly format it so that it's more readable. Now let me drag this crosshair to all the other rows so that this Google form prefilled link is automatically filled in the other rows as well. Let's do one more test. Let's click this link for Jacob Friedman. We only know their name and birth date and as you can see in the prefilled link, the date has been co correctly added from the Google Sheet. Okay, so our prefilled links are ready for all the rows in our Google Sheet and we need to send these links to our employees. So how do we do that? You can either use mail merge with attachments. Now if you already have this add-on, you are good to go. Otherwise, I'll leave a link in the video description so you can just download it and use it. Alternatively, if you are generating customized documents, uh, you can also use these prefilled links with Document Studio. For this example, we'll use mail merge with attachments. So I go to the add-ons menu, choose mail merge and then choose the configure option. Here I'll put in the sender's name. I can just put anything. I go to the next screen. I don't want to enable email tracking. Next, I'll design the email template that should be sent out to the employees asking them to fill the link. Now I can either design a template here inside the Google Sheet itself or I can create a Gmail draft and use that as a template. Now for this example, I'll quickly create a template inside this sheet itself. Now you can use uh, dynamic values inside your email subject line as well as the email body. For instance, if I want to send a personalized subject, I can include the name of the employee in the subject line itself by adding the name field and enclosing it in double curly braces. Maybe I can also add an emoji here. Now the body of the email message can also be customized just like the subject line.
Now we need to convert this text click here into a clickable hyperlink. So we'll select that and click the create a link button. Now what do we put here? We want to put a URL here and that URL is in the column G of our Google Sheet that is titled Google Form Link, right? So what we'll do is we'll put Google Form Link here and we'll enclose this in double curly braces so it becomes a variable field. Now some email clients may not support hyperlinks so we'll also include a plain text link in our email. Now I can either type the Google Form link enclosed in double curly braces or I can use this drop down to directly insert the variable field in the email body. So our email message is done. Let me click the save button to apply our changes. Next we'll go to the uh, send email campaign section to actually send out the emails. Now before sending out an actual merge, we'll do a test run so that we can confirm whether things are working or not. The email has been sent. I switched to my Gmail and there you can see the test email. So if I click this link, it opens the Google form and it has pre-filled with all the information that is already available in our Google Sheet. So the employees can only fill in stuff that is missing and thus save a lot of time. You can also club email notifications add-on in this workflow and you'll get an instant email alert when employees fill in your Google form. I'll leave links of all the add-ons that I have discussed in the video description as well. Thank you.